This conference will now be recorded. So if you remember in first session, I was talking lightning web component. We just stack of modern lightweight framework built on the latest web standard. So now let's see what is this web standard and uh, how this web standard is the playing major role to come with this uh, lightning web component. Okay, so to understand that, let's see uh, what is web component and then we'll understand what is this web stacks and what are the latest web stack available. Okay, so web component nothing but uh, I'm not talking lightning web component, I'm saying web component only. Okay, web component is a new browser features. So uh, if you develop any application or any page or any user interface, you are going to display on a web browser on a on a mobile browser or a web browser so it's it's a, a web component is a browser feature it's a browser feature by which going to provide a standard component model for the web you may develop application with any tools any technology but web component is giving a common programming model or common component model for the web okay so that called web component it's a new browser feature which provides a standard component model for the web and in this web component there are few elements to be considered like custom element like i was saying lightning web component uh, are my custom html elements built using html and modern javascript so they're nothing but the web component is nothing but have some elements so some some uh, associated part of it like custom ap element shadow dom html template and es modules so if you are going to develop something which is satisfying all these points then we can say it's a web component okay then i i'll explain how uh, Salesforce came with lwc how why it's a lightning web component okay so it's a browser feature which provides a standard component model for the web so custom elements shadow dom HTML template and ES modules. So custom element, nothing but the HTML elements with custom template, tag, name, like, and behavior. We can develop our custom element with the help of uh, uh, HTML and JavaScript APIs. Okay, so that nothing but going to custom elements. So Lightning Web Component is a uh, are, are the set of custom elements built in HTML and JavaScript. This point, what we said using HTML and modern JavaScript framework. Okay, so now shadow DOM. Shadow DOM nothing but it, it, it's a standard. It's a, it's a processor standard which encapsulate the internal DOM. Let's I have developed one custom component or, or let's custom UI. So let's consider if I develop a UI. So here I am displaying some buttons, some text boxes, something. So this is nothing but completely one document object model will be there internal dom will be there okay and to uh, render it we may need some css some some javascripting language all kind of thing so shadow dom nothing but it's a standard which encapsulate the internal document object model dom structure of a web component how it should be web component dom shadow dom nothing but it will it will encapsulate our internal document object model structure of a web component so parallelly we have something called HTML template. We define the template in HTML which are rendered on the page. We are going to render in the page nothing but HTML templates. Okay. Then ES model nothing but the scripting language what you want. It should use standard set by the HTML script. So ESA model specification defines the inclusion and reuse of JS documents in a standard based modular performance way. So simply to say web component are the browser features which provide a standard component model for the web and they they may have the custom elements, shadow DOM, HTML template and ES modules as the primary characteristics. Now let's see if I had Visual for Space, Aura component, why did I come with Lightning Web component? Okay, so for that, we need to understand about the web stack in more detail. So, when Salesforce comes with Lightning component, so in the year of 2014, 
the wave stack was looks like this okay so wave standards that time only offered very limited uh, foundation for the full stack developers to build a large web applications large scale web applications so if you develop a page for example if i develop a page so this page to render on the web web we need some kind of rendering engine we need some kind of standard elements to put it here or we need some kind of event let's see on the click a button or on the loading of the page or on change of the pick list or on any kind of events uh, to build that all these kind of things were not supported in web standard so in the 2014 if you see if you develop any application or any component or any page or any ui you need two things your framework where you want to work let's say salesforce framework or maybe you work in any framework and what is the web standard with combination of these two we are going to build my custom pages or custom components so in 2014 web standard provides only these things javascript standards of ecms script 5 it supports event it supports standard element and rendering this much thing supports by web standard only supports this many things okay but think if i want to okay i i, I got as a standard something where i can do the rendering okay now if i want to optimize the rendering how i can do my web standard was not supporting that so to optimize i had something called rendering optimization i have to think on my framework side so i in the 2014 when we are going to for when we had lightning component we are more depending on the framework rather than web standard so if you develop some application in your framework you are going to write the logics for many things in your framework rather than relying on the web standards okay like the example i said the rendering so rendering uh, to optimize we have to work on the framework same way the standard ui elements was not so good or was not so uh, interactive so uh, and and also uh, if you see the standard elements supported by web standards but it was not that performing good on the ui so and also it was not allowing us to create a custom elements that time so to do that kind of things the ui components we depend on the framework to build build the ui components so now we are depending more on the framework side rather than web standards and uh, uh, if you see here rendering engine standard elements events and core language we are using acm script nothing but all these things what we have in the web standards rendering was not optimized for continuous ui transformation for which we depend on the framework again standard ui elements were complex and did not support custom elements so in the framework we develop again ui components and to fulfill all these kind of gaps like languages so like to fulfill these gaps so like what what uh, rendering i want how i want my uh, page to develop or page to display to fulfill the gap so finally we depend on the framework and we used many scripting languages like common js react angular bootstrap many kind of third party scripting languages we used or third party frameworks we used okay so now if you develop one application in some other technology i develop one application in other technology then your framework is different my framework is different so your component model is going to be different my component model is going to be different so that time that was happening so different scripting lab library we used to fulfill our gap then everybody have the different framework with different component model and the rendering also optimization we do in the framework so if you see in 2014 many things we are depending on the framework rather than web standard so with time goes the web standards are evolving to bring all web components or or, or all web pages or or all ui or components in a common programming model or common component model so with this evolving, we came in the 2019 web stack.
So what happened in 2019 web standard? So now in 2019 web standard, if you see in the web standard, we got many things. So now if many things we can do in the web standard, then we are not going to depend on the framework more. Okay. So now in 2019, what happened? We came with uh, framework less, but using web standards more. Okay. So now in the web standards for the support web components which i talk here what is the web component it's a new browser features to provide standard component model for the web okay then we can define our templates where you can see we don't have template for template we used to work on 20 in the 2014 web stack we need to work in our framework we can define template using web standard the common template for all all framework all frameworks or all custom elements are supporting custom elements which was not supported in 2014 we used to work our ui components here okay same way she supports hydrodom hydrodom nothing but as i said uh, it's a standard to encapsulate my internal document object model of my component as it as shadow to my web document object model okay then it supports module it supports ecms script 7 it's nothing but my javascript standard uh, standard standardization how which which javascript we can use okay it supports the event based on the event we can render whatever you want on the page then it supports also standard elements and also rendering we can do and rendering utilization util rendering optimization everything we can control by my web standards only okay and the specialized things which we need in our framework that part only we keep in our framework side so now we are going to depends more on the web standards rather than framework like if i want to have some ui components or if i want to get data from my databases i can use my data services or i can use some specialized services we'll talk what kind of specialized service what kind of data service what kind of ui component we are going to use in align with lightning web component so with 2019 web stack and 2014 web stack if you see we had like different component different framework and uh, optimization with help of other framework and many scripting library we are using to overcome that what 2019 web stack came with a common component model common programming model everybody for, for everyone these web standards what they're going to use it's a common programming model and interoperable components let's see you develop one component with this web standard and i am developing another component with web standard then both component can interoperate interoperable components and better performance because now everything we are relying on the native web engine instead of some other third party framework or some other framework so it provides better performance if you see in the past session i was saying lightning web component is a lightweight because it's completely built native on the web standard okay and it it runs in my web engine so it gives better performance better performance because core features implemented natively web engine so now we understood in 2014 web stack and in 2019 web stack what was the evolving in 2014 web stack time we had the lightning component in 2019 web stack we came with lightning web component let's see how this is going to uh, map with us okay so as i said in 2019 web stack lightning web component we use web standard here and in the lightning web component uh, if you see the specialized service data service and ui component for that we support specialized service like security how to control the security to assess the data we have given something called lightning data services and for ui component many base lightning components provided so lwc on top of this 2019 web stack provides a layer of specialized self host services on top of the web stack like base lightning component lightning data services to access the data from my database and user interface api nothing but ui api which we'll see in more detail in upcoming session how i'm going to play around with ui api and lds and how i'm going to use my base lightning components so if you see the complete transformation okay in the 2014 web stack comparison to 2014 web stack and 2019 web stack and how it fit in the lightning web component if you summarize completely in 2014 web stacks 
the data services, UI component, component model, template, rendering optimization, module, language extension, everything was depending on the framework. But uh, only it supports few standard elements in those steps, the rendering, event, and ECMS script file. So you see more on the framework side, less on the web standard in the 2020. So if we evolve happen, now you see in the web standard, we support a many things like my web component, my template, my custom elements, shadow DOM, decorated module, ECMS script, event, standard element, rendering, many things. Only the specialized services we kept on the framework side. So what kind of specialized services? In the context of Lightning Web Component, nothing but like security, Lightning Data Services, and best Lightning Components. And other things, whatever we have, everything we took in the web standards. So this is nothing but a common programming model or common component model, okay, which, which can interoperable among themselves. And this is completely uh, runs natively in the web engine, so performing the faster also. So in this uh, evolved Lightning Web Component comes to support this 2019 web stack to have the components which perform better in the web stack to have a common component model. So Lightning Web Component comes on top of uh, Aura component to develop the components with a common component model or common programming model using web stack. Okay. Now you completely see Lightning Web Component Come if you compare with lightning components and lightning web, like Aura components and lightning web components. See in Aura components, what, what do we do? Security, lightning data service, and base lightning component we have. Apart from that, uh, uh, it was supporting for the custom component model, custom template, custom component, rendering optimization, custom module, custom events. All these things we are doing in the framework side for a lightning component. Okay, but when you come to the lightning web component, we they, we rely all these things on my we, 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 on my web standard side. Only from the framework side, we handle the security, lightning data services, and best lightning component. The web component, template, custom element, shadow DOM, module, standards, and what event to be used, everything is used in my web, web standards. Only difference you see on the ECMS script, uh, your Oda component supports ECMS script 5, but here ECMS Suite 7 we need to work with the Lightning Web Component. So in the next, we'll see more detail about the Lightning Web Components. We'll go more deep, deep detail on Lightning Web Component and what more we are going to use. Stay tuned. Thank you for your time.